Hello and welcome back to another episode of Phoenix Point. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our relentless run on Legendary Difficulty without knowing the game. So it's called Blind Playthrough of Legendary Difficulty. It's time to attack a, ben a Pandoran Lair, the only thing that I am aware of currently. And we need to locate and eliminate the spawnery. Easier said than done. Let's just this time double check really what the equipment of our uh, people is. We got a couple of um, soldier points available. Shotgun and melee weapons not needed for JP Pauly. Inappropriate Murphy definitely could require levels. That's the main thing that I would want at the moment. Good, I think we can't really level up much. Just double checking if everybody has their right equipment. Shadow Realm is fine. Bonus grenade range, two speed. Good ranks. Yeah, it's definitely more spiders. They are good. I appreciate them. Fit well into the team structure. And Ian, we're waiting for another speed upgrade. Billy G could go into Onslaught. Sure, why not? Snipers are not the best for Onslaught, but just having the ability to shift around points from one character to another is incredibly helpful. Good. We landed and immediately am seeing half a dozen enemies. Cool. So either here or here, we're going to have the spawnery. <laughs> Starting with some frenzy. And I hmm. might want to uh, stun a few of uh, the opponents. We're going to see about it. For now, these here are rather annoying. So we're moving up. And that's one down. Charging in further. down where are all the enemies okay cool so we know where the spawn reset Kill them fully. Which means we're just going down there and are waiting. So 
Now, this guy here is a goo distributor. that it stops spit, uh, spitting out goo because that's a problem Murphy takes over remote control as well Right, moves up. Fantastic. So, he will bleed. S that sucks, but he'll be okay for now. And we need to deal with her. She speeds up all of uh, the others, so we can't have that. The G moves up further. He takes more actions. We're almost done. Then he takes even more actions. Shattered Realm moves up. And Ranks would hand over his thing here. Good. Problem solved. End of turn. can come to that in a second. First of all, let's make sure that we have cleared this part of the map again. Move up. One hit. That was the reason because it takes more than one hit. That was the reason why I couldn't finish these two last time. come to the rest in a second. It's good to see that we do have the siren well under control.
getting these stupid rocks out of the way. Let's try that again. <coughs> One. Don't tell me we have forgotten the ammunition yet again. Everything's out of ammunition now. One. Two. Three. Cool, we can theoretically fear this guy. Interesting. Good. So, technician, we fall of our turrets out. Still need to collect them afterwards. Good, JP Pauly. Interesting. So, hmm. I think I want to war screen them. I don't want that guy to come in. Good, there is the wall scream I, I was talking about. Slowly but surely moving up. Damn it. Oh, that was not good. Thought I would easily kill the, the egg in one go.
Okay, so look. One, two, that's ten rounds. We won't need that much. Euler moves up, heading over an action here. Dashing all the way to here. Second move to here and then Zip Zap and we got her as well. Now it's time to pack up and go. Retrieve turret. Yes. Move up. Poly moves up. Is that guy just slithering away? No, he is not. Okay, well. Pick up the turret and move. for 20 which means he really just does have two rounds before everything is over move up one two And we're continuing to move towards the spawnery. There is loot here, which I think I'll grab. Good, Dilly G moves up. Who is missing? Yep, that was the effect of the scream. Mutagen, what is that sanctifier? Magazine, never heard of it. The 200 mutagens are fine. up further
The appropriate Murphy moves to here. And applies a nice little friend. <laughs> Further, okay. Polly. Repairs the, the arm. And continues to move forward. Again, moves forward. Um. Shadow Realm regains will points. them down. Hmm. I think we're okay. We'll kill them next turn. going to charge up yeah yeah blah blah it's always the same shouting shouting screaming screaming Good Dilly, come on. Kill this guy. And in order to make up for the lost time, we're actually sprinting. So move here. Yes, please.
I see. We're out of willpower. Need to do that next turn. Need to save some willpower. Could have done that a tiny bit better. I could have waited one more move because I only shifted over one action, unfortunately. over here moves over there this guy and we are rushing all the way back very good end of turn we're moving over here and I hope we can kill the spawnery soon moves up all the moves up ranks begins to hit the spawnery stones here Good. That's the worm. Not going to be an issue. All we need to do is remove the rest of the stones and then we're good. Transit. Prophet Murphy moves over. I think now is the right time for Adrenaline Rush. Okay, cool. Well, starting with that, 
And a little bit of that. Interesting. Can't go through some of the stone apparently. In the Butrones moves over. Or is that new enemy? No, that's an old enemy. Are more massively reduced. Still the fireworm. Good, I think one more turn and we should be golden. Takes acid, poison, and bleeding damage. Yeah, and finally it breaks down. Easy peasy, the, we're almost out of here. The Prime team is fantastic, really, really strong in what they're doing. a successful mission no major injuries no losses nothing all good unfortunately the XP is always moderate to say the least wow, it takes so long to get those guys to level 7 Something is not right with a with the XP system. The amount of um, XP should not be reduced just because you have a lot of level sevens in the uh, team. I don't know what it is, but it's just aggravating how how slow it is. Potentially been on twenty missions with that team alone, maybe twenty five in that constellation. We're still not getting to level seven. Yeah. 
Okay, so... All right. Let's do one bit at a time here. We've just eliminated more of the hives and we're getting into a better standing with the Synodrians. Uh, And it appears to me uh, if everything's actually going quite well. Have I forgotten something? No. I think we're good. Trade here. Nothing available. Moving on. Trade here. 2 for 12, that's worth it. 2 for 10, not so much. Can't go further down. We could start trading up there again. In terms of born in the USA, everybody currently gets a lot of XP. So there's really no point in not just waiting here, letting them continue to get XP. Okay, well, that worked out so far. Um, I would say we could at least start uh, the antediluvian ruins. Can go for an exploration there, and why not? status here. Oh, not good. Well, the first one maybe will arrive in time. Ten for two is still okay. Haven info ninety percent. Still ninety percent. Okay. No, um, we had something in Born in the USA. Well, I can tell you, we can use a level 7 character just so that we do have one person on here. Construction complete. Um, well, a lot of construction just have been completed. That's not a good trade.
that is okay. That is very much okay. Good, we were in time. Haven info, 90%. And yeah, we're going to do that. Even get some decent rewards out of it. But that will happen next uh, turn. Uh, in the meantime, if you're a big fan of the Disciples of Anu, try to um, infuse some mutagens on the like button and see you in the next episode. Thanks a lot and have a good one. Bye bye.